In this decade, the A350 is perhaps Airbus's most talked about wide-body aircraft. However, in reality, the aircraft that has brought Airbus its greatest wide-body sales success is the A330. The clearest proof is that in 2024, Airbus delivered nearly 800 commercial wide-body aircraft, compared to just over 300 from Boeing. Remarkably, most of the wide-body sales came from the A330, not the A350. So, why does this aircraft hold such a strong appeal? How did it manage to outperform both Boeing and even the A350? Let's find out. In the mid-1980s, the world of commercial aviation was in a period of dramatic transformation. Airbus, determined to stake its claim in the medium to long-haul market, spotted a daring opportunity to design an aircraft that could go head-to-head -head with the reigning champion, the Boeing 767. This bold vision didn't just aim to compete, it set the stage for one of the most successful aircraft families in aviation history. Launched in 1987, the project promised more than a response to growing demand for operational flexibility. Airbus envisioned a hybrid aircraft, one capable of conquering both sprawling intercontinental routes and bustling regional corridors. That unique versatility would become the very DNA of the A330 family. But the real story, the revolution, only began when the aircraft took to the skies on its first commercial flight. So what makes the A330 so remarkable? The A330's first remarkable feature lies not just in engineering, but in its extraordinary adaptability and capacity for evolution, a quality that set it apart from any aircraft before. When the first A330 took flight in 1992, it carried innovations that would redefine industry standards. Its design, shared with the A340, introduced a revolutionary concept. Pilots could operate both aircraft under a single unified certification, unlocking operational savings previously unimaginable. This common airframe strategy cut training costs by up to 60% compared to competitors, proving that this aircraft was more than a plane, it was a smart economic solution. Building on this foundation of versatility, the Airbus aircraft's initial engines, the Pratt & Whitney PW4000 and General Electric CF6, offered thrusts of 52,000 to 62,000 pounds, making it a technically compelling choice across North America and Europe. Combined with a 6300 nautical mile range for the A330-300, the aircraft seamlessly bridged the gap between regional jets and ultra-long-haul intercontinental planes. Commercial success followed immediately and endured for decades. Variants such as the version 200, 300, and A330F cemented the aircraft's global presence. By September 2024, the A330 fleet numbered 1,800 aircraft with an average age of 12 years, launching over 350 new routes since 2012 and logging more than 60 million flight hours with 99.2% operational reliability. Hold on, everything is about to get even more surprising. But before continuing, don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe. Thanks a ton. Yet, a new challenge quickly appeared, one that threatened to make the A330 obsolete. In 2004, Boeing launched the 787 Dreamliner, a new generation aircraft built with cutting-edge composite materials, promising a leap forward in fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. This was more than just a new competitor, it was a direct assault on Airbus's wide-body market dominance. Notably, it appeared just as the Airbus aircraft was aging, with airlines operating the type eager for a new, efficient aircraft, that could immediately replace the A330. For years, the industry speculated whether the European manufacturer would develop a completely new aircraft to counter the 787. However, the company's leaders had a different vision, one that turned a threat into an opportunity. They chose not to abandon their proven A330 platform, but to push its boundaries with a revolutionary upgrade. Therefore, the A330neo was launched in 2014. It was far from a mere upgrade, it was a turning point. New engine option undersells the scale of the change. This was a full redesign. The Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engine, producing 68,000 to 72,000 pounds of thrust, doubled the bypass ratio of the original Trent 700 and halved noise output. New Sharklet wings reduced drag by 4%, combining with optimized aerodynamics for overall efficiency gains. The result? 14% lower fuel burn, equivalent to saving 290 gallons per hour. The version 900 Neo, Maintaining the same length as the version 300, seats 260 to 300 passengers in a typical three-class layout and reaches a maximum range of 7,200 nautical miles, connecting any point in a hemisphere without technical stops, offering unprecedented operational flexibility. Concrete figures underscore its power. On a typical six-hour flight, 14% fuel savings equal 365 gallons, enough to fully refuel an A320 for a three-hour journey. But efficiency goes beyond fuel. 
the Trent 7000 sets new reliability standards, with technical cancellation rates below 0.2%, becoming the industry benchmark for on-time performance. Besides, scheduled maintenance occurs only every 10,000 flight hours, reducing frequency by 25% compared to rivals. The passenger cabin is fully redesigned, integrating A350 experience. HEPA filtration refreshes cabin air every 2-3 to three minutes, and cabin pressure equals 6,500 feet, reducing fatigue and jet lag. Furthermore, flexible layouts allow 260 passengers in premium configuration, up to 4 and 40 in high-density setup, easily adapting to seasonal demand and route characteristics. Previously, with the older version, Airbus attracted mostly customers from the European and American markets. But now, with the new version, it becomes even more significant in the Asia-Pacific market. The region combines ultra-long routes such as Sydney-London, 10,573 nautical miles, with medium-high density flights like Singapore-Tokyo, 3,380 nautical miles. Notably, the manufacturer holds 60% of the wide-body market here thanks to the A330neo, the result of a meticulous strategy precisely aligned with regional needs. Besides, the competitive advantage also lies in system compatibility. A330 pilots require only three additional days to transition to the A330neo versus 20 days for competitor aircraft, saving $100,000 per pilot. With a 50-pilot crew, total savings reach $5 million, freeing resources for reinvestment. Airbus's aircraft family concept allows shared technical teams and spare parts across A330 variants, doubling operational efficiency. However, perhaps the greatest differentiator is the aircraft maker leadership's long-term vision. A $200 million training center in Singapore can train one 200 pilots annually with eight state-of-the-art A330 NEO simulators. Regional technical support includes 12 certified maintenance centers, spare parts availability at 99.5%, and a 24-7 rapid response team cutting average unscheduled downtime to six hours versus competitors 12. In addition, Airbus also collaborates with regional universities to develop specialized aerospace engineering programs, ensuring a high quality technical workforce for the next 20 years. Every layer of improvement from design, engines, passenger cabins to support infrastructure unveils the secrets that make the aircraft not just an aircraft, but a symbol of flexibility, efficiency, and strategic foresight. However, faced with rare advantages that few aircraft can offer, how did airlines respond? Not every aircraft forces airlines to rethink their plans, but the A330neo has done exactly that. Its rare advantages have turned fleet decisions into a strategic race. Cebu Pacific, the Philippines' largest low-cost carrier, was among the first to act, canceling its Boeing 787 order and unexpectedly choosing 16 A330neos. But why? It's because of superior operational efficiency and flexibility unseen on any aircraft before. This decision was more than just a fleet change, it reflected a global trend. When economics meets strategy, the choice becomes clear. Not only Cebu Pacific, but Malaysia Airlines went further. It replaces its entire mixed Boeing 777-200ER fleet with the A330neo. The result? An 18% reduction in direct operating costs, while efficiently serving both 3-hour domestic flights and 8-hour international routes that had previously seemed impossible. Not pausing for a moment, AirAsia X, a pioneer in long-haul, low-cost aviation, announced the expansion of its NEO version fleet to 100 aircraft, abandoning all Boeing diversification plans. CEO Tony Fernandez declared plainly, The A330neo allows the airline to lower fares by 15% compared to competitors while maintaining stable profit margins. The impact didn't stop in Asia. Turkish Airlines, one of the world's largest A330 operators, ordered an additional 25 NEO versions to expand into the Asia-Pacific market. Routes that were once economically unviable, such as Istanbul, Perth, and Istanbul, Auckland, have now become profitable, opening previously unimaginable opportunities. Besides, the NEO's influence quickly spread to South America. Azul Brazilian Airlines confirmed an order for six aircraft to replace its aging fleet, operating exclusively on strategic international routes like Campinas, Madrid, Lisbon, and Fort Lauderdale. India, a market projected to grow 8% per year over the next 15 years, is emerging as a hotspot. Airlines such as Indigo, Air India, are all showing growing interest in long-range NEO variants, preparing for ambitious international expansion. The A330neo is more than just an aircraft, it is a game-changer. It forces airlines to rethink strategy, optimize costs, expand previously unviable routes, and create competitive advantages they had only dreamed of. With this aircraft, every fleet decision becomes a bold strategic move, unlocking opportunities the aviation world has never seen before. While stars like the A350 or A321 XLR recently capture all the attention, the A330neo is quietly redefining the global aviation industry. It doesn't dominate the market with glamour, but with a secret formula. Superior efficiency, reliability, 
and flexibility. This aircraft is a strategic solution for Airbus, easily adaptable to every market, every configuration, and every airline's needs. It is the silent hero helping Airbus discreetly dominate the wide-body market. This is more than just a technological step forward. The aircraft represents a holistic approach, a perfect blend of technical innovation, operational compatibility with existing systems, and economic efficiency. This synergy could make it one of the most versatile commercial aircraft ever built. The aircraft's impact will continue to spread for decades to come, silently setting new standards of excellence in global air transport. While the Boeing 787 has good performance, it seems the aircraft maker had a more farsighted vision. They focused on macroeconomic trends like population growth and market expansion, particularly in Asia, and the A330neo was born to meet those exact needs. Even as China's giant Comac enters the game, it will take more time to prove its strength. So, do you think Airbus has truly dominated the game, or does Boeing still have a significant opportunity to challenge the A330neo? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks, and stay safe.